Hi there, this is Barry Longden again. I'm going to show you a quick tutorial today. Um, I'm going to introduce Microsoft Forms to you. So Microsoft Forms is uh, a, very, a really cool program where you can create all different types of forms that include things like surveys, quizzes, even formative assessments or like exit tickets if you want. So all you have to do to access forms is you go into Office 365 like I am currently on the screen right now. Uh, you'll have a button here on your splash page that says Forms. Go ahead and click on that. And this will open up a new tab and take you to the Forms page. So, Forms is actually a really uh, simple looking site. Uh, let me zoom out here a little bit so you can see it better. There we go. So, there are a couple of options that you can choose from. Microsoft Forms is completely housed within Office 365, so your students can get access to it easily. But the nice part about it is too, and I'll show you this a little bit later, is that you can uh, give this form to people outside of the Rapid City Area School District. So for example, parents can take, can take these forms as well if you wish. So the best place to start is just to create either a new form or a new quiz. It's kind of up to you how you want to do it. Um, I'm just going to click new form and just show you around and see what it looks like. So on here you'll notice you have a couple of tabs and you have a couple of buttons here at the top. So the first of which is the questions page. This actually is where you're going to do the bulk of your work. Um, all you have to do here is basically just add a title. You can title it however you like, add a picture to it, and then add a description. And then to get started, you just have to click Add Question. So you'll notice you have a few options for that. You have choice, uh, text, a string. Uh, you can do like a, a long text or short text. You can do ratings. You can do dates. So if you click on choice, it gives you some options here, and then you can choose what you want to do. So that's how you get started with that. When you're all done, you can preview it. You can see what it looks like. You can either check it on a computer or a mobile device. So as you can see, this is what the form will look like. You can also set a theme for it if you want to. Most of these are just colors, but you have a couple of uh, different picture themes that you can choose from as well. And then finally, the share option, which is how you're going to be able to show and have other people take this for you. So you'll notice you have a link here. You can post this link wherever you, your students or whoever you want to take the quiz will have access to it. You have QR codes, you can embed it, you can even email it out, or you can share it if you want to. So if you want to share it to collaborate with another staff member, if you want to create a template, you can do that as well. So those are some options you have within just the form itself. Let's go back, I'm gonna go back to the forms. Let's take a look at the quiz option this time. So if I click on quiz, it's a little bit different. The best part about this is that it will grade it for you. So you'll have the same options here, okay? But now the nice thing is that you can add points to it. So for example, if I want to uh, have a point here and I want to be worth two points, I can add that in. And what uh, forms will do for you is it will start to score it and say, okay, this quiz is worth this many points. And it will automatically score it for you. You just have to select which is the correct option. So as you can see down here on this first question, I can choose to add a comment that will display um, a message to those people that respond to it, who select that answer, and then I can say which one is the correct answer as well. So that's a really neat way of uh, giving your students an option to uh, take an assessment and then get immediate feedback. So you can see the responses underneath the responses tab once you have people that have populated it. All right, that's basically all I wanted to show you with this today. So next time I'll actually walk through and help you build a quiz and then I'll show you how to share it with other people. So thanks again for stopping in. Bye.